Okay, so in part C we're asked to find a matrix representation for T. The basis for the domain is the same, but now we're changing the basis for the codomain. So how are we going to do that? Well, just like before, we take the first basis vector, T squared here, and we take T of T squared. We use this formula, and we get the vector 1, 1, 1. But this is the vector as it's expressed in the standard basis for R3. We have to find C1, C2, and C3. So it's C1 plus the first vector, C2 times the second vector, and C3 times the third vector. All right, and that's what it's going to be expressed as in the Y coordinates. Well, uh, we can just eyeball this. C1 we can pick as 1, C2, and C3 as 0. So that means that t of t squared, which within the standard coordinates is the vector 1, 1, 1, can be represented in the y coordinates as 0, excuse me, 1, 0, 0. In the y coordinates. Let's look at t of t now. Well, just like before, I plug the numbers in. I'm going to get 0, 1, 1. And I have to write that as a linear combination of this basis. And as before, I can just eyeball it, and I got C1 is 0, C2 is 1, C3 is 0. So T of T, which is 0, 1, 1, corresponds to the vector 0, 1, 0 in Y coordinates. And last but not least, T of 1, the third basis vector, just as before, is going to give me the, the vector 0, 1, 1. I have to write that as a linear combination of the new basis y. And once again, you can spot the answer. C1 is 0, C2 is 0, C3 is 1. So that means t of 1, which in the standard basis is 0, 1, 1, that has the same coordinate representation in the y basis. So what does that mean then for the matrix from x to y for this transformation? Well, in the first column is t of t squared, which in the y coordinates is 1, 0, 0. Then t of t, then t of 1. So that's the 3 by 3 identity matrix. So we better check this out. All right, so how do we check that this is doing what it's supposed to do? Well, I just take this matrix, and I multiply it by a generic uh, Vector in P2 expressed in X coordinates. Once again, that's A, B, C. Now, this is the identity matrix. I just get A, B, C back. But remember, this A, B, C here is interpreted in X coordinates. So that's an element of P2. It's A, T squared plus B, T plus C. This is being interpreted in Y coordinates. So what does that mean? It's A of the first basis vector plus B times the second basis vector plus C times the third basis vector. So let's write this out in expanded form. See what this really means. A times 1, 1, 1 plus B times 0, 1, 1 plus C times 0, 0, 1. Now, these are all in the standard 
uh, expression, the, the standard representation for things in R3, and I multiply A, I get A plus 0 plus 0, I get A plus B plus 0, and A plus B plus C, which is exactly the formula I'm supposed to get for that. So once again, as we change the basis and the domain or codomain, we're going to be changing the matrix representation. But as long as we're consistent with our coordinates, uh, both matrices represent the same transformation. That'll do it for quiz 13.